Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. <clears throat> um, I wanted to show, I showed you a little bit about this yesterday, but uh, I believe this Lionel, at, at Lionel 46294550, I believe that he's the one that started the conversation about, um, a, about, it was really just a theory he was posing about how there could be a, a, a mass X rapid go live uh, going on that could be could be the start of say tomorrow, and the reason he was saying this was because there was many. There, he was pointing to certain banks that that we know that Ripple is working with that are going, undergoing maintenance like today, and it seemed and it seemed to him like a lot. There was more than one, like several of them, and it just seemed to, like to be too much of a coincidence. So apparently. He's still, they're all looking, still looking into this and they've got a couple of more banks that are, that are uh, popping up. This one is Canada, RBC involved with Ripple in Canada has a similar maintenance schedule this weekend as well. Could be reading into nothing, but it's certainly interesting. And by the way, I'm showing you this with this same thought. It, it, this is probably nothing, but why not? It's, I mean, it's an interesting topic. Why I'm not going to just ignore it. But I can give you the disclaimer that it's probably nothing, but it still is interesting to look at. Um, because then you come in and here's MUFG, and they also are going to have uh, additional maintenance uh, July the 6th and then Sunday, July the 7th. And so, and then here's where it gets interesting. And then this one comes in. Uh, this person rebels at E B E L S underscore R. Something is happening and has done a, a Google search. Banks maintenance July 7th, 2019. Here's HSBC, TransUnion, um, Security Bank, who, Mitsu Bank, um, and then that's HSBC. Let's see if we, there's mole pay. I don't know that. But anyway, so, so then that's another one. And then we had this. This is from XRPist at A underscore Australia 22. Here's a complete list of Ripple Partner Bank going into maintenance mode this weekend. MUFG, Standard Chartered, Rabobank, UBS, Santander, RBC, CIMB, Barclays, HSBC, RBS, Simplio Financial, Credit Suisse, SCB Thailand, PNB, Halifax, DBS. So I thought, I thought I needed to at least show you that. It was interesting enough. And then we had this, Crypto Deluxe um, at Mycor Eczema. Um, sent this from the DX exchange on Sunday, the 7th of July, we are going to perform a scheduled update to prepare the system for massive trading support by supported by platform improvements in performance and stability. During the update, the exchange will be unaccessible. I just thought that this, the wording of this was pretty wild schedule update to prepare the system for massive trading. Could be nothing again, but maybe it's something. Who knows? Um, then from Brian Melancholy XRP at Mike Honcho underscore 11 sent me this. <laughs> this is pretty wild, folks. All right. Seems to be um, that. Remember, this is Judy Shelton. She's the one that Trump is has nominated to be on the Federal Reserve. And we, we covered this yesterday about um how she likes the idea of a gold backed currency and uh, it could have been done in a crypto currency sort of way. She seems to be, she seems to act like she is re very pro cryptocurrency. Well, anyway, we have people, we have people on Twitter who are constantly um, looking for things and see things that I never would have spotted. And this is one of those cases. So this person repor at repor, um, seems to be a wise woman and, and zeroes in and she's got this bird on the, on her as a lapel. I guess that's the right word for that on her jacket. 
And he showed what this is, is this uh, is this article. And I don't know. I think maybe I've talked about this before. This is a famous um, a famous article or a famous magazine cover from The Economist. And for those of you that are want, don't know, a lot of people in the XRP community have, have said for a long time, this apparently was an article that was done in 1988. And what they're saying is this, this um, I guess that's an eagle, is on top of money burning because this they were literally predicting cryptocurrency. And she's wearing a bird that looks awfully similar to that bird. And then you go down and somebody kind of explains what it is. The Economist magazine on the, on the right was published in 1988. Its cover predicted cryptocurrency depicting a phoenix bird on top of burning currency with a coin around its neck. The brooch, okay, it's a brooch. That's the right word for it. Um, she wears appears to be a phoenix bird sitting atop a pearl, then listen to her words. So ah, that is just wild. Pretty, pretty crazy coincidence there, folks. Okay. And then we have this from Savvy XRP underscore. Um, Singapore releases new draft on tax guidelines for select crypto, including XRP. These cryptocurrencies will no longer be subject to goods and services tax. Amazing forward progress for using digital assets as a medium of exchange. Um, Singapore, I've always heard, is one great place for capitalism. Never have been there, but I'd like to go. Okay, and this was from XRP Big Time. Why gold will be an asset in a fintech world? Sounds to me like they're putting gold onto the blockchain. Could we be going to the back to the gold standard? Um, now, I've seen enough now, folks. I can tell you that. What I believe is about to happen is you're going to have a you're going to have a gold backed digital asset, and who knows that could be what the United States um, creates as their own crypto. We don't, we don't really know. But what, we, what I believe is that that is, um, is what, I believe XRP will be bridging that as well as many other things, many other digital assets around the world. And I think a lot of countries, if they're smart, will create their digital assets and tie it to, to gold. Um, but yes, all the indications are that we're headed back to a gold standard. I believe the only, I believe that that the, the the countries of the world really have no choice but to face collapse. And I believe that that from the ashes will be a digital asset, or or not just a digital asset, but several of them. Okay, got this is from Rhythm Trader. By 2024, 15 year olds will not know a world without Bitcoin. What do you think their for, first choice will be? Bitcoin, download an app, or a bank, photo ID, parents info, initial deposit, proof of address, social security number, agreeing to hidden fees, sign unreadable documents. <laughs> and then that ties right in with Michael at VAL5 Links tweet, which I saw, thought was great. This is an article about Vitse Vend. And we, we've been talking about how Vitse Vend is trying to create a banking um, app. And so here, um, Michael at VAL Five Links. He says, when asked about the need to access people's bank accounts, Wynn said there was no need to access an external bank account if we have licenses to issue XRPL bridged bank accounts to our users. That's what we're after. That's big time, folks. Now, finally, Chinu Patel at Chinu Patel Twenty Nine sent me this. Now, folks, you need to go watch this video. It's from Crypto at underscore Crypto underscore Maniac. And what this is, it says, it, is it possible, this is a, an interview that he's found somewhere with David Schwartz. It says, is it possible for USD to be reserve currency um, of Ripple Protocol interviewer? Absolutely, countries can even introduce 100% backed gold on Ripple Network, David Schwartz. But that's not the interesting thing that's in this video. The interesting thing in this video, you know, we keep hearing all these people talking about a level uh, playing field. Well, at about, I think it's, if you start at the one minute mark, what's interesting in here, and I'd never heard him say it, but in this interview, um, he doesn't say level playing field, but he, but he does say fair playing field, which tells me that, and that's David Schwartz that says that. But what that tells me is that 
this level playing field, this term, words mean things, folks. If, if I've learned anything in my life, I've learned that words mean things. I've said it on this on this channel before, that you young people out there, um, and I'm just giving you an example of how words mean things. <laughs> this is a funny example. Uh, you guys out, you people out there that are that are are single, uh, you guys out there. If a woman is, if you're having problems in your relationship, and a woman ever says this phrase to you, then watch out. This means that the end is near. If she says, "We need to talk," that that phraseology specifically means that there is no way out of this. We're we're done. <laughs> now, if she says, um, "Let's let's talk about something," or that's different. But if she says, "We need to talk," that could be the death of your relationship. She may be fed up with you for good. <laughs> well, in the same respect here, this level playing field keeps being mentioned over and over and over. And I, I believe that from the people at Ripple, they know that if all currencies, whether it's digital or otherwise, if they're all on a level playing field, that XRP will win every single time. And I believe that that's what that level playing field what, or fair playing field you put them all, there was even a, a time when Ryan, Gazone, Ryan Zagone was on stage and he was, he was making the point that Bitcoin and Ethereum had gotten a free pass with regard to regulations. And he said, and I think, I can't remember, but I think he used some term like if they, they were all on a level playing field. And what, he, what I think he was getting at is that if you ever put XRP side by side, with Bitcoin and Ethereum and, and, and they all have the proper approvals and they're all able to be used, that the that XRP will rise, the cream will rise to the top. And that's what I believe this is all about. And for that reason, that is, I think that that is what I get out of all of this when, when I really sum it up, is that XRP wins on a level playing field. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that on a level playing field, XRP will win every time. Thanks for listening.